Hey there, today's video is about Living in Bend, the pros and the cons. Hey there, thanks for coming to my channel today. My name is Nora Spangler and I'm with Rogue Real Estate here in Bend, Oregon. So in recent years, Bend has made the map and everybody's discovered our little town of Bend, Oregon. But what is it about Bend that makes people want to leave their state, their job, their family and move here? I'm going to list off a few of the pros. Uh, many of these are the reasons that I moved here about four years ago from Seattle. So they're very familiar to me. One of them is just the outdoor lifestyle. If you like to recreate, exercise, just be in the outdoors, um, that's one reason um, that people move to Bend. Another reason is just the pace of life. I lived in Seattle where everything just seemed so hectic and frantic and stressful. And so moving to Bend for me was a huge slowdown in just the pace of life. Another one might be the weather, and that depends on the kind of weather you like and where you're from. And there's one that's kind of really hard to describe or really get at, but there's just kind of a really cool community vibe in Bend. And if you visit here and you just like it and you keep coming back, then I think you understand what that vibe is all about. And so let's take these one by one, the outdoor lifestyle. I mean, there is no limit to the opportunities to be active in the outdoors in Bend. Whether it's winter or summer, spring or fall, um, we get very little rain and we do get snow in the winter, but then you can get out and be active in it. It's very dry snow, which is great, um, unless you wanna make a snowman or throw a snowball because it's so dry that it won't even stick together. <laughs> But it makes for great skiing, snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, um, just even hiking and walking the trails. You can still get out and do that in the winter. And the other thing is we get a lot of beautiful blue sky, sunny days in the winter. So that is a big difference between some of the rainier climates in Oregon and Washington where it's very gray and cloudy most of the winter. So our weather, our weather is, well, it's amazing to me because it's a high desert, dry climate. And so we get very little rain, um, lots of sunshine. Our summers are mild. We get usually into the 90s, but not much past that. It's just kind of a mild um, climate here, very dry. Um, we get a little bit of rain, spring and fall and definitely snow in the winter, two to three feet probably, um, but it's dry. And so if you just layer up, you can go out and enjoy the winter weather just as easily as you can in the summer. So the community vibe in Bend is a little hard to describe, but it's definitely here. And we are neighborly, we like to help each other out. Um, if, if you drop something on the street, most likely someone is going to pick it up and hand it back to you. I mean, it's just, it's a very friendly atmosphere for the most part. Now, Bend is not perfect, right? Are there nice people here? Absolutely. Are there mean people here? Yes, there are. Because guess what? We are still on planet Earth. <laughs> and so unless we were on some other planet where everybody was nice, um, you know, every now and then you're going to run across um, an experience that is not so nice. But I had never experienced really the feeling of community like I do here in Bend anywhere else I've lived. Okay. okay, so cost of living is kind of a pro and a con. If you are moving um, here and you're retiring and you have a nice retirement income, maybe you're selling a house in California, um, thumbs up to you, you're going to be just fine. I would not suggest moving to Bend without a strong job prospect or a job in your hand. 
Um, it is a challenging place in the job market. So I'm going to put that in the con column. Um, our job market, while it's strong, they aren't really high paying jobs. So you may have to juggle two or three jobs in order to make ends meet. But if you're bringing a job with you, if you're telecommuting to a job, um, or you travel for your job and you can live anywhere you want, then um, Bend is probably a great option for you. Okay, so food, restaurants comes up as a topic, and I'm gonna have to put this in the con column because if you really are into food, you're a foodie, or um, you just enjoy kind of more high-end food, I guess I'll say, then you're probably not gonna find that much to your liking. So I am not a foodie, so I'm gonna put myself kind of in the middle and say that our food is great <laughs> for me and what my needs are. I love tacos and I'm more of a casual food eater. And so for me, Bend has great options for all kinds of food. Another question that comes up a lot is how diverse uh, ethnically or religious, you know, political and religious, how diverse is Bend? But definitely Bend is like 90 something percent white. And I often get asked, is Bend welcoming to people of other races, ethnicities, etc.? In general, I would say everyone in Bend finds a way to get along. So if you're coming here with a family and children, you're probably going to want to know about schools. So I don't really know whether to put schools in the pro or the con because it really depends where you're coming from and what schools you're used to. Um, there is a strong homeschooling element in Oregon in general, so that is always an option. We do have private school options as well as our public school system. Um, our Oregon school system's ranking is about the same as California for K through 12. So we're not terrible. We're about 39th, I think, on the chart. And there's a link below for um, the school rankings. Okay, so are you ready to move to Bend? Well, I know for me, after visiting um, about five years in a row, a couple times a year, I just couldn't stay away. And when, as soon as I was able to, um, I quit my job in Seattle, my husband quit his job, and we moved here about four years ago and have never regretted it, never looked back. It is a wonderful community and I highly recommend it, but just make sure you think about it. And if you have any questions, of course, I'm here to answer them for you. I am. So you made it all the way to the end of the video. That's great, I really appreciate that. Now I have a special gift for you, which is a relocation guide that I created just for you. It has tons of information, live links, and hopefully it's everything that you wanna know about Bend. So go ahead and click the link in the video description below that says free Bend relocation guide and it will take you to a page where you can put your info in and I will send that to you right away. So go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you would and then you'll get all my weekly videos about living in Bend, moving to Bend, and real estate in Bend.